nothing but I do anything that you want me to do Put you on the flight, I put you on the yacht, all this for you, yeah, yeah I'm just trying to express my love Hopefully it's enough, cause baby all I see is you Is you, cause baby all I see is you What's good, Nancy fan? Welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Zay. It's baby girl Desiree. And we, we are back, back with another, another amazing, amazing video. video. God. So today, it's a very urgent video. I know we don't seem too urgent, but it's a little urgent for us because I'm going to tell y'all the truth. I have not been seen by OBGYN probably like, what, three weeks? Yeah. Six. It's because we be, we be so late to appointments Yo, and then we're the always is, doing something. Let me tell y'all. The reason why... I haven't went to the OBGYN because they dropped me because I missed one appointment, guys. One appointment. And not to tell you, like, it's crazy because we was on a cruise. We was out of the uh, country. It wasn't intentional. I called. But when I got back, they was like, oh, well, I don't know. We might not be able to keep you as a patient. So she made a phone call yesterday, um, I guess, to a provider, uh, a certain type of OBGYN. Yeah, another OBGYN. But yeah. fast forward before I get to that, right? Yeah. So last night while I was gone... Um, working out and doing my thing, she texted me like she has the sweats. Like she yeah, keeps sweating, sweat sweating, really sweating. Bad. Like really, really bad. Like my neck, my head, everything just starts sweating out of nowhere. So I was yeah. like, damn, is this like a first step into labor? I don't know what to do. And she's getting a lot of pains in her pelvis. It's just a lot. So what we decided to do, we was doing some running around today. Um, she's okay. Are you okay? Like you feeling decent? Like I feel my body feel decent, just not down here. Like I feel her down there. Like, okay. It's hard to explain because it's just Yeah, I won't be able to understand, but I'm trying my best to. But, uh, guys, so basically what we're doing, we're on the way to the hospital. Um, she spoke with some people. They was more so saying um, the OBGYN was not taking her because she's 40 weeks. Yeah. And they don't, it's already close to birth. So yeah. go straight to the hospital. So that's what we're doing. Just to see if she's dilated and everything like that because I feel like she is. She feel like she is. It's just the only thing is her water hasn't broke, and she's not even able to go to the OBGYN to get checked yeah. um, to make sure everything's good. So we're going to go there. We have to leave Jay with my brother and his girlfriend, and hopefully, you know, this is not a give birth situation. But, um, but I do hope I am dilated because I really don't want to get induced, guys, because next Tuesday is my due date, and I feel like if I pass the due date, it's automatically induction. So make sure y'all click that subscribe button. Enjoy this video. Uh, we have old videos that we have not posted from two, three days ago. We'll still give you this, those videos as well. This will it's turn just, into a whole labor yeah, delivery video. Wow. Yeah, something that we're not Are expecting. you ready? No, no, not, not today. Yeah, so we're going <laughs> to see. Today. And it's currently right now. It's 8 o'clock in the evening. I know the hospitals take a long time, but I feel yeah. like when it comes to pregnancy, they're very urgent. So yeah, I can check the wait time. So right. before we go down, I'm going to check the wait time, and then we should have an estimate before we go. But before we go, we got to go say bye to Jay. She just woke up, guys. You see the little scratch on her forehead? What happened right there? You got boo boo? And she picks at it so it makes it worse. But guess where we're going, baby? We're going to see the baby. We're going to make sure the baby's okay, your baby sister. Okay? So you got to stay here with Uncle Elijah and Alanis. Okay? Can you say hi, DZ family? Say, I love you guys. Blow them kisses. Oh, so we're going to let you know what's going on. We're going to talk to you on FaceTime while we're gone, okay? i call you, okay? I love you. Give me kisses. Say love you. Oh, I think she's still tired, guys. I think Isaiah has got a little anxiety, so he wanted to stop getting some food to try to, like, prolong it. And probably because she was hungry. I ain't going to lie. Like, I got a shit. I know you was nervous. You know, it's all said and done. This is, this is a big step, man. It's like, even if the baby's not ready, just anything to do with the baby, knowing it's, we days away. I just yeah. thank God. I'm sitting here trying to get in daddy mode. Like, I'm like, you know, she over there. Shit, I'm trying to get in mommy mode. So, I'm like so used to Jay being able to talk, like do whatever she want. Cause I, want I asked her to go do something, but I got to go right back into holding a baby. No, I'm going to be holding her. I got I got to support a little bit more of this relationship. I mean, this, you know, this baby. Yeah, you I feel that. like. <laughs> <laughs> all right y'all see she always trying to start something all right i had to fix the camera because it was not focusing but uh yeah he was saying he gotta support more yeah 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 and then she gonna try to start some shit but uh, 
No, nah, just support more. Try to really be involved. I think sometimes you could be present. Wait, guys. I'm having a contraction, contraction. right now. Yeah. I don't know if y'all can really tell, but it kind of bulges out from having yeah, a contraction. Yeah, it's pumpkin. But continue. But, um, no, I just feel like with sometimes people can be present, but not present, if you get what I'm you saying. You can be there, but not present. Like, yeah, like. And that's, I, I think y'all know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. It's hard to explain, but uh, I just really want to support, 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 and really be there mentally, physically, and on all aspects. We're so. going to see y'all because I'm going to keep y'all updated, okay? And y'all he is supporting. We, man, we keep it real, better. though. Like, I'm, we, because let me tell y'all, with Jay, Isaiah did not help me. And then just being 100%. All right, but listen, I'm going to be honest with you because I got to get my food. We got to go to the hospital. It's like I didn't help. You know what I'm saying? Because and I felt like this too. I'm sorry to cut you off. Girl, but oh, I do that I, to you all the time. Yeah, so I like felt that. like this too. Like I felt like since he had a child before me, I thought he would have been like, okay, well, like this is like easy work for me. But it was like, damn, is this your first child? And that, I'm be honest with you. My this, it was really like having my first child again because I wasn't even all the way there like with Zoe. You know what I'm saying? So for me, I'm learning. I'm not gonna make no excuse for it. Um, just, I just got to do better. But we keep it real with y'all, man. I, I'm not sitting here trying to fabricate. Or, nah, this, this, should, this should be hard sometimes. But the main thing is just doing it together and knowing that it's a team thing. I've yeah. never, I've never known what it's been like to have a partner that really want to support team. Like, let's do a 50-50. Or like, when you lack it a little bit, like, you know what I'm saying? So that's, it's just a... Yeah, this traits. is what I told him the other day. I was like, um, I really want to co-parent, but in the house. So what I mean by that is, like, you know how, like, when you have to send your child off to, if you guys are not together, to the dad or the mom house, and then they get that full responsibility of, even if it's just for a week, you have that full responsibility of that child without an excuse, like, oh, I know she's going to do it. Oh, I know she's going to do it. So when I say, like, co-parent in the house, it's like, okay, we're doing, like, 50-50%. Like, if I need you to watch her for two hours. I even watch her, like, you know, give me a break for two hours. Yeah, give me two hours. It like, shouldn't be grab having... her. You sure already yeah. know. So, as y'all can see, I'm going through a, a, a relationship mentorship right now. We're we building. And at this point, you know, it is what it is. We all go through it in our own little way. We ain't hiding nothing. Yes. And, um, and if there is a couple that is watching this, Dad... Please help your lady out. I promise you, it will give like it will release so much stress on her. <sighs> Y'all don't understand like what we go through mentally, just having a child, and then we have to take care of ourselves, take care of the child, make sure the child's good, make sure your husband is good, or boyfriend is like, good. Like it's just wanna, a lot. They probably like we don't want to hear all that shit. Get us to the hospital. They do. I know there's a couple right now that I was speaking to. Dad, please help out. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. Just work 50 50. You better stop. She's gonna have that shit on. Re you know how girls be when they be together. Like, <clears throat> you know what I mean? like, yeah. That's how it's supposed to be. Like, <clears throat> ladies. I had a guy all uncomfortable in the tell bed. Tell him. Tell him. Say, start, start helping me out. <laughs> they can start washing dishes. Because they help right you away. to make the baby. They want to. That is Put the baby Look, in this. I'm gonna tell y'all how it go. After this, we're gonna, you know, because this shit turned into an intervention. Look, I, I swear to God, when, when girls be watching inspirational stuff, and they be like, if he ain't doing this, or trust me, it's another one to do it. We be sitting down. Trust me, we be like, shit, let me get up and go clean up or something real quick. <laughs> like, yeah, nigga, play cool if you want to. Nah, nigga be like, oh. And then y'all start getting, as soon as that part come on, y'all start getting a little bit more interesting. Like, mm -hmm. You heard that? Yeah. So nigga just feeling uncomfortable over there. Like, damn, do she really love me? <laughs> uh, so, but yeah. no, seriously, y'all. Help y'all ladies out. I promise you it'll do a whole bunch of justice. I'm telling you, we give you like y'all full raw like emotions right now. Look, fact, now he want to leave. Now he want to leave. See, this is how it is when it gets intense. No. <laughs> Real conversations. They want to. Oh, let me go. Uh, <laughs> my pizza burning. Like seriously, if you're man, and if it's a couple watching this, y'all work together. I call it co-parenting in the house, or just being parents in general. Like, why I gotta be called co-parent? Like, be a parent. You help me make the baby. Let's help out and raise the baby, right? That's just how I feel. And these conversations I be having with Isaiah, like, it's either that or we're going to have to co-parent because I'm not doing this all by myself. And I got to take care of myself, chase after my dreams and things I want to do for myself and make sure she's been raised right. And another thing, too, make sure you guys are on the same page as raising a child. It may not be, one of them might be more 
uh, strict on a baby and one might not be. But I'm talking about, like, just quality-wise. Like, um, mental, like, how you want them to talk. Like, be 100% on the same page. Damn, you still talking. Because that goes into effect, like, when a child gets older, like, you know. therapeutic for you, huh? No, I'm just saying, no, I'm just saying, make sure you're on the same page, like, raising a child. I know, but damn, babe, you've been talking, like, crazy. I haven't, I haven't been oh, at all. Okay. <laughs> well, get, oh, they don't hear me talk, but I'm talking. gotta get it out some way. I'm you know, talking. I understand. I'm so proud you that you're talking to, more. You just don't want me to talk about You probably said, fuck it, I'm about to leave him, guys. I'm telling you, my personal channel's getting started. Thank you, thank you, thank you, help. All right, stop. You playing, man. Come on. I love you, though. All right, let's go to the hospital, guys. We made it to the hospital. We're sitting in the parking lot. Isaiah just got done eating his food. How was your food? Food was amazing. After you eat, I'm actually hungry now. I asked if you want something. You said no. Yeah, it's cool. I'll take McDonald's. So we here now, guys. The show has began. It's time to figure out if I have dilated or not or... I don't know. This could turn into a, like a whole labor and delivery vlog. I'm starting to get even more nervous. And I'm trying my best to like, you know, stay cool, calm, and collected. But I love you, baby. Just know that, okay? I love you too. I love you more. Oh, You're so you beautiful, say. my little pumpkin. All right, let's see what they're going to say. I might not record this part just because I don't want to bring all that attention to us and all these questions asked. So. Like when the last time you been there? So long. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so. Isaiah's actually checking in. I showed his ID because he is a visitor when he's coming with me. But I'm kind of nervous now because I'm like, I'm ready for the news. I'm not ready for the news. But it's coming, guys. There's somebody in the waiting room right now, which is pretty awesome. It's pretty good. So I should be up there in just a second. But okay. Give me a little security sticker. I gotta make sure he good go up there with me, you know. Yeah, I don't need one because I'm VIP. <laughs> so cute more than you. <laughs> and rolling into the bag. <laughs> See, I don't get back there. That's crazy. It's 9.55 right now. So keep y'all updated. How you feeling? You alright? Yeah, I'm nervous as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Can you pass the Yeah, I got you. Same it's that time now. You're going through the doors. Them doors. Oh man. Me again. Babe, how you feel? Love nervous? You, <laughs> that is crazy. Oh, snap. Going into your little room. Oh, yeah. Get your little pea sample. This is crazy. Oh, no. So this is Desiree's little bed right here, right? Like, you know, this is just the triage section. She went to go use the bathroom. Let me see. You peeing, babe? <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to show you. Oh. All right. It's game time now, though. I don't know. I got to change the whole outfit. They got a whole outfit for you. All right, so we're going to see how Desiree come out the bathroom. She's going to, like, a whole different person. I'll be out in five minutes. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's get a reveal. Come on. <gasps> Look at the baby. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I know. <laughs> I'm like, I'm supposed to ask you where the grits at. Right. Oh, oh my. baby. <laughs> <laughs> you look so beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Okay. As far as I can, you have a contraction for, like, five minutes. Like, okay. Five, seven minutes. Like, oh, I'm sorry. I got your way. Oh, you're fine. I won't record you. I'm just... Sure. When did the, um, is this your first baby? Second. Second. Mm -hmm. Um, do you have one at home? Was that a loss? No, I have one at, well, so I just had a miscarriage last December. Okay. And then before that, uh, I have one at home. She's two. Okay. So this is your third pregnancy total? Yes. And when is your due date? The 14th. 
So I guess we're about to take her vitals, guys. Hook her up to the machines, make sure everything's working right. So keeping y'all updated. This is so unbelievable right now. Feeling all right? Yeah. Right now, currently, we, as you all can see, are in this room. The nurse has left, strapped these things on her um, to kind of monitor the contractions, the heartbeat, you know, things of that sort. Um, how you feeling right now? Just a quick little update. Be creating memories. Um, just back pain, pelvic pain, um, and just like contractions. Yeah. So they gave us a little update. Well, she said since she is 40 weeks, um, the doctor's going to come speak with her and do whatever he or she's supposed to do. Um, but they said, she said, typically sometimes in these situations, um, yeah, she said I could potentially be induced. Um, Desiree was induced last pregnancy. She didn't really, she wasn't too fond of that experience. So we're going to see what happens. I'm ready to see the baby, but it ain't about me. It's about her body. She said the bed's uncomfortable. And I'm just trying to keep her relaxed and stay by her side. So I'm just giving y'all updates. Uh, we're not really here for necessary, like, uh, uh, like, I guess you could say emergency. Yeah, but it's just more so like sure. checking on the baby. And she can be due any day now. So we're going to take it step by step. And uh, make sure y'all comment down something good below in the comments for Desiree. All right. Okay. Everybody say Team Desiree. Team Desiree. And if the baby comes today. No, it wouldn't come today. They wouldn't induce you today, baby. Maybe just slide out. Slide in uh, like I did. Slid right in that thing. We're going to continue to have mucus coming out. Oh, okay. okay. Everybody really, acts as if it's like, like it Yeah, out, that's why that's I was it. like, I never, no, when I used to talk about it, it's like, did you lose your music book? I'm like, I don't know. It's like somebody blew their nose in my band So then. she's going home tonight. If she's not making cervical change, yes. Oh. No cervical change? Well, you have a couple of options. You look pretty comfortable. You could walk around for two hours or you could go home and come back when you feel more pain. For the baby or the baby looks great. Yeah. I'm not worried about the baby at all. Okay. Update, update. The doctor has came in. I got a little clip so the R N has came in. Everybody has came in and they've said that I'm officially two centimeters dilated. She said two centimeters and about 50%. So that's like, what, two centimeters and a half. And they said um, if I was four centimeters, they would have kept me here and made me have the baby. So we're about to um, start going home. I told Isaiah to get some gloves. So while we're at home, he can be checking himself. Probably in the next two days, I'm not going to him check again. You can't check often, babe, because I can get an infection. Minor interruption because the nurse came in and gave me my discharge papers but um, I'm pretty much all dressed ready to go like I said I am two centimeters and a half so any day guys any day now I can be giving birth it can be tomorrow I can be six centimeters who knows um, as of right now I'm thinking I just want to wait to see a couple more days um, how the baby does and if it just progresses on its own but I'm having real contractions guys so I'm having like the pre-labor contractions before the real labor I'm getting that Nice. I don't know. Mm, mm. Let me think about it. <laughs> oh, you try to change the subject. See? See? We're about to get ready to head out, head back downstairs, head to the car. And yeah, so hopefully the next video after this, well, after the next couple of videos, that'll be the labor and delivery video, which will be very exciting, very crazy, and just, oh. I just really want it to happen naturally. I don't want it to be induced or like a fake hormone, like having to make my cervix open up and all that. I really just want it to happen naturally. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. We out of here. Probably see how we get home. I'm about to get rejuvenated to drink a lot of water, yeah. a lot of pineapple. I need some food. You know. Do you give me food? Yeah, I got some food for you. Get food. exchange for the... Um, oh, you selling pussy? <laughs> Oh, oh, no. Of course, see you. See y'all later, man. <laughs> so we finally made it home. It is currently, what, 2 o'clock in the morning? Uh, 1.45. 1.45. We stopped and got some McDonald's. Um, I think I have some pancakes. I got some nuggets. And I just had some peanut butter cookies. But now I am tired. You know what I'm tired? I'm tired. You can't, you can't forget about that. <laughs> 
So what Isaiah keeps trying to pressure me to be intimate right now, and Isaiah's actually on punishment, guys. So I don't know if I'm um give in or not. I told him he got wait till March. That's how much he's on punishment. You want to tell him what you did? What I did, guys, is I didn't clean the uh, the bathroom. That's why you're on punishment. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Hmm? But anyway, we're going to go ahead and close this video out. Thank y'all for tuning in. And thank next you guys. Next couple of days, should be having a baby. Yes. Like I said, it might not be the next couple of videos. I mean, after the next couple of videos, it should be the labor and delivery. Because I'm two centimeters already right now. So, in the day. Just gonna have Tomorrow, I can be four. Tomorrow, I can be six. Okay. So, nine. Yeah. It's just good to know that I am dilated. I don't want to go there and be like, well... Sorry, you haven't even started yet, but I'm two cool. Centimeters. Eight more to go. You look so good. Eight more to go. Now I look good. He just wants some. Yeah, let me tell y'all something. <laughs> Whenever he wants some, he likes to hype me up, boast me up. Oh, I love you so much. You look so beautiful. Oh, oh my God, you tripping. Is this not true? No, I say that all the time. Fuck no, when, time yeah, up. when he wants some. Like, oh my God, please. Like, I just love you so much. Don't y'all, y'all gave her instructions to do some stuff. What? My mom even told me. She didn't even talk like that. She said, I didn't. No, that is true. A lot of y'all in Dems was like, go have sex, go have sex, go have sex, go have sex. But, I don't know. I'm going to think about it. <laughs> Look. <laughs> we back there eating it up. Like, yes, I love this. But, yeah, guys, thank y'all for tuning into this video. We love you guys so much. Um, thank y'all for coming along on this journey, this long journey. I feel like it's been forever. But we're finally almost at the finish line. Finally, almost at the finish line. Mm -hmm. He's just ready to go upstairs. <laughs> He's just like, mm-hmm. Is there anything else you have to say? Yeah, I love you all. Appreciate you all. Um, from the bottom of my heart. And it's just been a long journey so far. God is good. Isaiah was trying to get me to have a baby today. So we're gonna make it we're gonna expedite that process. But like me and my beautiful family always say You don't have to leave my channel, channel but, but you, you gotta, gotta get this one. Peace. Peace.